camera. Wait, 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 this is 17 year old Maya St. Pierre. Yeah. She has a chromosomal it's condition known as Emanuel Syndrome. Would you like us to get you something? I'm looking at a book. One in two years. Yeah. Every aspect of Maya's care is 100% given. She needs to be fed, she needs to be changed, she's incontinent, she's unable to speak, she gets frustrated, sometimes she can have outbursts of rage and frustration. Right here. Mommy's got cookies There's only over here. There's only about 500 people reported in the world. The disorder yeah. had no real name until recently. Yeah. After years of law, she was able to get the name right it. Response. After geneticist, Dr. Beverly Emanuel. We actually got an entry for this condition into the... The, the National Library of Medicine before it didn't have an entry. Stephanie has also created a global foundation for the syndrome, a website that shares resources and information for people dealing with the disease. We basically provide an instant link for families. Um, we have many different ways for them to connect with us. Come in here. Maya has a strong connection with her grandmother, who is also her part-time caregiver. That's an interesting dynamic and relationship the two share. You know, I'm very devoted to her and um. I work hard to understand her and to teach other people how to understand her. Um, I'm her advocate. Maya stays at a respite home for most of the week, and her family is hoping she could soon get into a group home with 24-hour care. However, that could take years to happen, as there are no beds available in Timmins. I look at my daughter, who is 18 and can do no more than a newborn, and it's heartbreaking, even today, like... After 18 years, it's just not something that you easily get over. I'll always have wanted more for her. Yeah. I'm Sharma, CTV yeah. News. That's Chloe. Cool. You say hi, Claude. Wait again. Say hi. Yeah. You want to show me?